Want to improve your Lightroom skills? Today I'm going to share 5 tips that made a huge difference in my own editing, from speeding up my workflow to making my images look sharper and more professional. Tip number one is to set up your development panel in the order that you edit in, or that best suits your workflow. For example, I prefer to make my lens corrections first, followed by my transform tools, and so on. You may come back to any of these tabs as you edit to make further corrections. In order to arrange these in the order you would like, you can select any of the panels by right-clicking and selecting Customize Development Panel. And this will allow you to move these around in the order that you would like, and then you can select Save. This is just a way to stay organized and have a visual representation of where you are in your editing workflow. Tip number two is to utilize the masking tool to make precise adjustments. For portraits, one of my go-to techniques is going to the masking tool and selecting people, and then isolating features like eyes, skin, or lips. I'm going to select iris and pupil, and scroll down and create mask. So now you can see that this mask is selected, and I can adjust the exposure slightly upward, bring up the whites, I'll bring the temperature down to emphasize the blue eyes. And I'll scroll down to texture and clarity. And I can just boost the clarity slightly. Using masks gives you full control over things like brightness, sharpness, and color without affecting the rest of your image. Tip number three is to apply sharpening where it makes the most sense. By default, Lightroom will add a little bit of sharpening, but you can take control of this and add it to the areas that need it the most. We can use the masking slider to be more precise in our selection by holding Option on Mac or Alt on PC and sliding the masking up until we can visually see what the sharpening will be applied to. And then from there, we can actually apply the sharpening. Tip number four is to use virtual copies to create multiple versions of your image. Whether you need different crop ratios for different platforms or you want to experiment with different edits on the same photo without affecting the original. You can create a virtual copy by selecting the photo you want to create it on, right clicking and select create virtual copy. From here you can crop or make further adjustments that best suit you. One last thing to note here is that if you select the crop tool and hit O, you'll have access to a wide range of different overlays. Lastly, tip number five is something I wish I learned a lot sooner. It's the lights out mode. If you want to enable lights out mode, all you have to do is select L on your keyboard, and this will darken the background, making your image pop off the screen. If you want an even darker background, all you have to do is select L one more time, and it will go completely black. And that's it for this one. I hope these Lightroom tips helped you as much as they've helped me. If you're interested in any of the gear I use, there are links down below. These are affiliate links, so I may earn a small commission if you decide to pick something up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.